In this lesson, I'll show you how to solve trigonometric equations with multiple angles and special triangles. Now we've already covered examples where we've done specifically for sine and specifically for cosine. This is just an extension of those videos and I've decided to mix it up with a sine and tangent this time question. The first one reads, solve the equation 5 sine x is equal to 3 sine x plus the square root of 3 on the intervals between 0 and 2 should be 2 pi. And question 2 reads, solve the equation tangent 2x is equal to the square root of 3 on the same intervals. Starting with question 1, what I will do is bring this term over to this side because they are like terms and they can be combined. We have sine x, 5 sine x minus 3 sine x is equal to the square root of 3. Combining these two, we only look at the coefficients 5 and minus 3. That becomes 2 sine x square root of 3. And then I'll divide this factor 2 on both sides. This 2 cancels out, leaving us with sine x is equal to the square root of 3 over 2. Now there is a special triangle for the square root of 3 over 2. Remember the cast rule tells us that all trigonometric functions are positive here and sine is positive here. So we're going to have two angles for this particular ratio. Also, there's a special triangle that looks like this, where this is your pi over 2, your 90 degree. And then you have pi over 3, which is your 60 degree. And pi over 6, your 30 degree. The one across pi over 6 is 1. Across from this is the square root of 3. And across from this is 2. So which of these two angles gives you a ratio of the square root of 3 over 2? Think about it. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite of pi over 3 is the square root of 3, and the hypotenuse is 2. So this has to be our reference angle. Our angle is pi over 3 for this quadrant. And for this quadrant, now that we found our reference, we just take pi, which is a half circle, and subtract it from pi over 3. We need to find a common denominator, and that can be found by multiplying the two denominators together. 3 times 1 is 3, and then 3 times pi, 1 times pi, gives us 2 pi over 3. That's the angle from here to here. In question number 2, we have tangent 2x is equal to the square root of 3. Our ratio is positive, and tangent is positive here and here. So we have to find the angle that's in the first and in the third quadrant. Notice that our angle is a double angle. We have 2x as opposed to, in example 1, x. So keep that in mind when we do find our angle. There's a special triangle that has the square root of 3. And looking back at this special triangle, remember tangent is opposite over adjacent. Opposite is the square root of 3, and our adjacent is 1. If you want, you can put a 1 underneath the square root of 3. It means the same thing. So our reference angle for quadrant 1 is pi over 3. So the angle from here to here is technically related to pi over 3. But remember, we have 2x is equal to pi over 3. So to find out what x is, we will divide both sides by 2. And this gives us an angle of pi over 6 radians. Let's do the same thing for the angle in the third quadrant. The reference angle is the same, it's pi over 3. And what we will do to find this angle is take pi and add it to pi over 3. Finding a common denominator, that's easy, it's 3. And then we have 3 pi plus pi, that's equal to 4 pi over 3. Since it's double an angle, I'll say 2x is equal to 4 pi over 3. Dividing both sides by 2 gives us 4 pi over 6, and reducing this, we end up with 2 pi over 3. So the two angles are 2 pi over 3 and pi over 6. There you have it. That is how to solve trigonometric equations with multiple angles and special triangles.